Hi guys, so you can probably tell that this is not my normal videoing spot or videoing attire or videoing look and I was going to try and sit down today and do like a sit down video of you know my first ICU shift and how I'm feeling and I was just like I just can't I just can't like get ready and sit in front of the camera and I'm going to tell you guys all the same things that I would even if I was already and so I'm just going to save myself that stress and just make this video for you guys because I really want to make this video for you and for me so that way I can look back on um, my first ICU shift. Um, so this video is probably going to be all over the place so I apologize but I'm just going to kind of jump into anything that pops up in my mind that I want to talk about. So back in Washington, I did have a little bit of ICU experience, but my ICU experience in Washington was limited and also I was in such a small hospital that if anyone was truly sick, they usually got transferred out. In the hospital that I am at now, this is like where the sick people come. Rarely do they transfer someone out unless it's for something really specialized. People get transferred to this ICU because they're sick and so that was so the acuity of the patients I was taking care of yesterday was unlike anything I have ever taken care of before in nursing. And so it was very overwhelming and kind of stressful um, to see that in like a couple of weeks, these are the types of patients that I'm going to be responsible for. I think one of the most difficult slash frustrating things about my shift yesterday was learning that new charting system. I already had a full course on it, like it was like a seven hour class on the charting system. But when you have to do it real time, and especially on sick patients when you're like, I don't wanna miss anything, you know, I know I'm not charting certain things because I don't know where to find them, I don't know where to find the lab values, I don't know where to find the physician's documentations. So it was just like, you know, just learning that initial charting system is always a really stressful, frustrating thing. It like just takes so much time and when you're already, you know, so, you know, stretched so thin with, you know, patient care, then it can be stressful with like, okay, well, am I going to get out of here on time? Am I going to make sure I had everything charted? And I know that's like with any new job when you start the charting system, it's like, it's just, if you've already learned one charting system, it's really hard to... ...hard to start in a charting system. So, besides that, that, you know, that's just like with any job. Um, so I had a really great preceptor, I'm going to be with her, I think, until I'm off being precepted. She was awesome. Her and I got along well. It's always really hard. I think I said this in my first day of work as like a new grad nurse video, which I'll link below. Um, my first day with my preceptor at my last job was kind of stressful when you're trying to figure out, you know, so what's kind of my role? You know, I know I am learning and everything but I still want to try and be primary nurse but when you're both trying to you know make sure everything gets done and learn the flow of things and it can kind of be you know stressful that first day is like figuring out kind of what your role is and obviously like when you're getting precepted eventually your role is to be to do everything but that first day obviously you don't you know you can't do everything because you don't know where everything is you don't know you know how the things work around there and um so, the, yeah, that, you know, we had a little bit of that, you know, just trying to figure out, you know, who's who's charting what? Did you chart this? Did, you know, did this get done? Did, you know, and that's just, you know, like with any precepting. And if you hear the dog, sorry, they are, he's got her by the collar. They, I just woke up, they just woke up, and so they're playing until I go take them out. Anyways, so I think one of the, hardest parts of my shift yesterday and I can't really talk too much about it but I think last night I was kind of feeling down and I was like I'm just gonna go to bed I'm gonna wake up I'm gonna feel better I'm gonna have kind of had that relaxed you know good night's rest and wake up and feel like okay you know I got this but I honestly I, I don't feel like that today like I honestly I still feel kind of down and like not frustrated necessarily with myself, but just like, um, I want to say doubting, but I'll just use that word, doubting myself. 
Um, and this is like the first time in my nursing career I have ever felt like, can I even do this? Like, can I even do this job? Am I even smart enough, quick enough, um, have, you know, good critical thinking skills? And like, this is the first time in my job I've ever felt like this. You know, there's been shifts where I've felt down and everything and, you know, but so what happened yesterday, basically we had a really, um, sticky situation that turned into um, an emergent situation and it was a sticky situation because you know things it just weren't handled not necessarily by myself and my nurse but by other people the way that they probably should have and you know I'm not sure I'm not sure how the family's feeling but it could be a potentially you know, legal situation. And, you know, I'll just leave it at that without giving any other information out. But, like, that's really stressful as a nurse, especially your first shift where you don't know the charting system, to be like, okay, I need to make sure I chart everything on my end to make sure that things look good on my end <laughs> that I did and, you know, all of that to make sure that, you know, if this ever proceeded to a higher level that it was that I'm not going to get in trouble basically and so that's stressful now it's like I'm I'm trying not to go home and be like well you know is there something I could have done you know could I have recognized this sooner could I have done this sooner could I have talked to this person sooner you know we always can do that and I feel like with any, hey don't bark I feel like with any situation like any code any emergent situation like you always have those thoughts and it's really like just a hard thing to process especially like when you go home it's your first day there's already so many overwhelming factors um so that was probably the biggest thing that um, really is is bothering me at this point and you know last night i said i'm just gonna go home fall asleep not think about it wake up and be better and i'm honestly not better and luckily i have two more days off to process it and i know i know this is like normal i know that there's going to be shifts where i just go home and feel defeated so it's like i can tell myself all those things but like really to feel them and experience them it's really you know it's different and this is like i said like the first time in my nursing career where i have felt you know really like am i even cut out to be this type of nurse um but i know like i know i'm a good nurse i know i'm smart i know i'm a quick learner and i told my preceptor I, I said, I was like, wow, this is like, this is really stressful. <laughs> and she was like, I had a girl that I precepted, you know, weeks ago who told me after her first shift, I don't think I can come back. Like, I don't think I'm cut out for this job. And she's like, just come back the second day. It's going to be better. And she came back the second day and it was better. So uh, I'll have to make a video after my second day. Actually, I have shifts Monday and Tuesday back to back. So I'll probably make a video on Wednesday updating you guys on how it's going. <laughs> but I'm hoping it gets better. I know it's going to get better. I know it's just so hard. Like, you don't know your first day. Um, the hospital is so, so big that I couldn't even find my way back to the parking lot after my shift last night. And part of that is when I got to my shift yesterday, I was rushing in. I wasn't paying attention to like which turns I was making, but I like couldn't find my way to the parking lot last night. And I was just like, I'm never going to find my way to the parking lot after my shifts. <laughs> Anyways, I was just kind of, you know, defeated and down, but the only way to go is up after this and it's gonna get better and I wanted to share with you guys my like raw feelings and emotions and you know how I'm truly feeling right now because you know I make a lot of positive motivating videos that you know nursing's so great and it's wonderful and it is it really is wonderful but like there are times where you do feel like this where you don't feel like 
you did a good enough job where you could have done something where you're concerned about something else and it's really you know it's really difficult but it's a it's a, just life it's a factor into like what we sign up when we do nursing we're going to see things that are terrible we're going to do things that you know no person should have to do and it's just you know really it's a hard thing so anyways i'm going to end the video there if you guys have any other questions or comments Leave it in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'll definitely keep you guys updated as things progress, how I'm feeling. Um, don't worry, I'm not suicidal. I feel like I'm depressed a little bit today, but I know it's just because of everything that went on. You know, not really depressed. But <laughs> anyways, thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.